Well seems like Foxy the Fox 110 can't catch a break from responding to me for a million times, can she? Well either way guys, no time for the intro, so let's just begin, because I am starting to lose my patience. Hey, what's up with me? Foxy the Fox 110 the WWL fan, and welcome to Fox Reacts Season 4 Episode 107. And this is going to be another Fox Reacts on Jason. And since this video is 49 minutes 51 seconds, I'm going to explain the five parts. I'm not going to explain how I'm going to do it because it'll take two. I mean, I'm not going to explain how I'm going to do it because I just want to go, because I just want to get going with the Fox Reacts. But I'll explain as I go. But anyways, before we get, before we get started, there's something I would like to let you guys know. To let you guys know, after I do the, after I finish the Fox Reacts, on this video, I'm going to be starting to only do Fox Reacts videos on Jason once a week. And credit goes to Asa for giving me, and credit goes to Asa for giving me advice for that, to, advice to do, to do that. And, and, I'm, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take he says advice. Now, anyways, and I told him that I would do would. I told him that I will only the Foxy react. I told I told him that I, I would do that like with doing only Foxy reacts videos on Jason once once a week after my Fox reacts on Jason on Jason's recent video. I mean recent commentary video on me. Now, anyways, before we get started, I just want to say don't attack Jason on what you're anything because this video is only meant for anything because it's only and constructive because we're only. Also, part one, which is today, will be the first 10 minutes of the video. Anyways, get started. Hey everyone, Jason here, and wow, I am not even surprised. Foxy the Fox 110 has responded to me for the fourth time. She just won't give up, won't she? Either way, let's just begin the response and see what- Hey, what's up with me? Foxy the Fox, 110, the WWL fan, and welcome to Fox Reacts, Season 4, Episode 95. And this is another Fox Reacts on Jason. So anyways, this is video 36 minutes and 17 seconds. I'm going to explain to four parts. I'm not going to explain how I'm going to do it, because I just, I just want to get going with the Fox Reacts, but I'll explain how to go. Anyways, part one, which is today, is next, I'm going to be the first 10 minutes of the video. Now anyways, before we get started, I just want to say, don't attack Jason on what you're saying, because this video is only meant for anything, for the zoning, and constructive, because of the zoning. Anyways, let's get started. This is the third time Foxy has responded. What do you think? That response was completely unnecessary and uncalled for. Well, well, you have a good point. I was, I, I would stop doing that. I mean, I would, I, I would stop, stop with, with saying, saying what do with it. I, I would, I would stop saying that from now on. Cause you have a good point about that. I'm just going to start saying say, say my name, so I'm just going to pause it for this part to get past this part. I'm just going to say my little, little, little life name, so I'm just going to pause the point this part to get past it. I'll be right, so I'm going to be back. But I'm not going to stop the coin, I'm just going to pause it. Alright. Doing that is very useless, because everyone already knows what your real name is. My comment. Well, um, the, oh, well, the only reason why I'm doing that it's because I want my real name in my videos. Well, we already know your name, Foxy. On her commentary, on my commentary, on her commentary, on my commentary, on Christmas, yes, Sonny A knows rant on brush moment. Yes, you read that correctly. So, bottle up, and let's get right into it. Hey, 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 what's up, it's me, Foxy Fox, I mean, Ken. Anyways, at first I was going to do the box of 
got some more video, but you know, I, keep, I keep in mind, I think it's Friday, I'm doing two parts. So basically, the part one will be the first 10 minutes of the video. And the next day, I'm mean, doing tomorrow, the part two, which is the final part, which means the last 11 minutes and 30 seconds of the video for the Foxy Gaps. So anyways, before we get started, I just want to say, don't tell our case and what you might think. I have no idea what your reasoning is supposed to mean. Well, the reason why, like I said before, the reason why I'm doing that is because I, I don't want my viewer name to be to be in my because I don't want my viewer name to be in my videos.
the plot. When we admit it's not your sentence, when you say it, it's a reaction and not a commentary, only just to respond to it, the evidence totally unnecessary. Well, I'm about to make sure that we're going to be doing everything I'm about to do to you. Will I only do that? Will I only... Time, so you don't have to say it to me for the second time. You really need to stop doing that for every commentary you make, unless it's for a good Well, that's it. This actually be out to a commentary. Reason. Also, double tap to see it exists. Well, I know that. That is better than which. Now anyways, that's the end of part one, and part two will be tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, 110, the WWL fan, out. Hey, what's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox, 110, the WWL fan, and welcome to, and welcome to, Foxy Reacts, Season 4, Episode 107. And this is Part 2 of my Night of Fox Reacts on Jason. Now anyways, Part 2 will be the next 10 minutes of the video. Now anyways, before we get started, just want to say don't talk Jason or what you mean, because this video is only meant for in-team purposes only, and contracted with people only. Anyways, let's get started. I mean, anyways, let's get started.
anyways, that's the end of part one and part two will be tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, Honey and Ten, the WWL fan, out. <laughs>
I want you to actually explain. Well, what we're seeing is that. Well, what we're seeing is that. Christmas yesterday, no, we're seeing that one moment can't handle criticism. That one moment can't handle criticism. When one when moment, when moment actually can handle criticism. Yeah, dude, no proof. What? Actually, I do have. Wait, wait. Don't you actually show some proof? Well, well, I I do have proof. In fact, I'll show you, I'll show you the proof right now. Hang on. Here's the proof. See, here you go. The comments where you told Brush Moments that making a demonstration video of someone killing themselves was messed up is not criticism. You were. Actually, it is criticism. Seems like you do not know what criticism means, Foxy. Let me give you the meaning of criticism. This may be copied off the internet, but it's still worth it. Anyways, here you go. Criticism is the expression of disapproval of someone or something based on perceived faults or mistakes. You weren't expressing disapproval, you were just telling him that suicide shouldn't be taken lightly in a respectful way and didn't go into depth on criticizing him. Besides, telling someone off isn't criticism. Only telling him that suicide was not something to joke about. So tell me what it is that's criticizing Brug Moment. Well, I was basic, basically criticizing that video that he, he made about joking about suicide like with Tom committing suicide, basically. So I was basically criticizing that video. You're missing the point. You weren't being disrespectful, you were pointing out to Brug Moment that suicide shouldn't be mocked. So get your facts straight. Brug Moment recognizes that what he did was mistaken and is willing to take feedback and learn from it. So that's not handling criticism. That's taking responsibility for his own actions. How about you actually show some proof that he takes criticism like a man? Well, let's just get back to the Fox Reacts. Let's continue. Well, I did give him criticism by criticizing that video that he made last year. You were not criticizing anything other than his words, Dumbass. If you had said, You are stupid for thinking that suicide is okay to joke about. That would have been criticism, but what you said was not criticizing Brug Moment. So you were telling him off, while still respecting him like the spineless worm you are. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of part two. In part three, will be, in part three will be tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Foxy the Fox, Honey and Ken, the WWL fan, out. Hey, what's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110, the WWL fan, and welcome to Foxy Reacts Season 4, Episode 107, and this is Part 3 of my another Fox Reacts on Jason. Now anyways, Part 3 will be the next 10 minutes of the video. Now anyways, before we get started, just want to say, don't attack Jason or watch anything, because this video is only for anything who was only and interrupted because we're filming. Anyways, let's get, let's get started. Excuse me. 
Absolute certainty that they wouldn't ever lie to you. I'll take your lack of response as a concession that you can't provide any evidence supporting your claim that Brad Moment is actually black. Perhaps you ought to think a little bit more critically about your assumptions and not be so quick to accept them simply because someone you trust told you. Well, the reason why I didn't, why I didn't say anything because I had nothing to say. Yes, it's obvious that you have nothing more to add. You made a claim without evidence, and since I called you out on your claim, you had no choice but to concede. Back it up, or do you blindly trust him? Well, I hope Walmart would never lie to me because I don't, I've known him for a long time. That's it. That's your response? Just because you've known him for a long while doesn't mean that you should trust him blindly. <laughs> Anyways, part three, I mean, part three will be 
next 10 minutes of the video. So anyways, before we get started, just want to say, don't attack Jason on the thing because this video is only that thing came from Zoom and control that this is before me. Anyways, anyways, let's get started. Silence I receive only further reinforces the previous points I made. I can only assume that you have no further arguments to support your position, which means that I have won this debate. Well, basically the reason why the reason why why I'm not saying anything for that part is because I actually don't know what I, I don't know what to say. It's fine if you don't know what to say, but when you don't know how to respond to an argument, you shouldn't immediately come to the conclusion that the other person is wrong. You should analyze the argument and look for evidence to back up or refute the other person's claims. Otherwise your own opinion could be based on incorrect assumptions and misconceptions. Seems like you've run out of ways to defend your position. Hopefully this exchange will prompt you to take a more critical approach to the things you read online and not just accept them at face value. Well, like I said before, I just, the reason I didn't say anything is because I have nothing else to say, that's all. The fact that you had nothing else to say essentially admits defeat. I rest my case. Well, the reason why I didn't say anything is because I didn't have anything to say about, I, I didn't know what to say about that, that's all. If you had nothing else to say, that indicates that the argument is settled and my position is the one that has been established as correct. I'm glad you can accept that.
Now anyways, that's the end of part 3 and part 4 will be tomorrow. Now anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, 110, the WWL fan, out. Hey, 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 what's up, it's me, Foxy's Fox, 110, the WWL fan, and welcome to Foxy Reacts, Season 4, Episode 107, and this is Part 4 of my another Fox Reacts on Jason. Now anyways, Part 4 will be the next 10 minutes of the video. Now anyways, before we get started, just want to say, don't attack Jason on what you think, because this video is only meant for in team pubs only and constructive cause pubs only. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, so, there's something I want to, to let you know, Jason, to let you know, I, so I, so I, I now know that the moment is actually white in real life. Because I heard that the moment admitted in Tom's live stream in the chat in for a moment. I mean chat in for a moment. I mean in what the for a moment admitted in Tom's chat in his in his premiere which was his his Fourth of July special. That brown woman made the East White, but when, but I, uh, I come when I come then commented on brown moments community, recent community type. I mean, I commented on, on brown moments recent community post because to ask him, to ask brown about that because I wanted to confirm it with double check of brown moment to confirm it. And then Asa replied to me, replied to my comment and. And it's telling me that the black bomb moment did him, the bomb moment made it and made that he's white in your life in the chat and bomb moment. I mean, in Tom's chat in this premiere live stream, I mean, this premiere in Tom's premiere for 4th of July. I don't, I don't know exactly, I mean, it's not exactly what, what Issa, Issa said by them in my own words. So, yeah. So, I would like to apologize. But people keep on claiming that Brown Moment is black in real life when it's actually not. But I, 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 at least I know the truth now. I still like Brown Moment, but I'm still like, I mean, I still like Brown Moment as a best friend, but I'm disappointed in him for, for learning about his skin color, that's all. I mean, I'm disappointed in him for learning about his skin color, that's all. But that doesn't mean they, that he for a moment now. I still like him as a best friend, but I'm just disappointed in him. I mean, I'm just disappointed in him for learning about skin color. Anyways, and anyways, let's continue. Basically, 
like for example, I mean, for example, like what's in present, what's in present, avatar is white, like he's actually black and white. That's just some silly exception. That doesn't usually happen. Most avatars are a representation of the person who owns that avatar. Most black people usually have black avatars. Wow, you lost the argument. You just resorted to ignoring me. I still hate was impressed, but that's just an example. I'm just giving that out as an example. Doesn't make sense. Well, like I said before, now I know what, like, like, I, like I said before, like I said before, well, now I know that bro moment is actually white in real life. And so it wasn't just they went up when asked for a moment to confirm, to, to get, get confirmed. It was a different day, when, when it was, which day it was though. But it was yesterday when he said we replied to my comment when I was asking for a moment about it so I can get confirmed. So now I know that wrong moment is waiting in life. But like I said before, I don't hate wrong moment. I'm just disappointed in him. Full line about skin color. I'm glad you realized Brad Moment lied about his skin color. It's always disappointing to find out someone has been lying about something. Hopefully he'll learn from this experience and be honest in the future. The reason you resorted to keeping your mouth shut is because you probably had nothing to back up your claim that the image you showed me was Wilson Perez's face. Seems to be 
and your lack of response indicates that you have nothing more to support your claim. Exactly. Because you lost the argument. any evidence supporting your claim that Brunk moment is actually black. It's quite disappointing that you're so willing to blindly accept his claims without questioning them, simply because you trust him. Perhaps, if you were more open-minded and less biased, you would be able to consider the possibility that he might be lying about his skin color. It's unfortunate that you're unable to see the flaws in your thinking process and are unwilling to critically examine your own assumptions. Like I said before, the silence I receive only further reinforces my victory. Your inability to articulate a response to my arguments only affirms the fact that you have lost the argument. You're speechless, because you realized that you can't back up your arguments with any evidence.
Well, anyways, that's that's the end of. Excuse me. Anyways, that's the end of part part four and part five, which is the final part. Will be tomorrow. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, Honey and Ten, WWL fan out. Hey, hey, what's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox, Andre and Henry, the WWL fan, and welcome to Foxy Reacts, Season 4, Episode 107. And this is Part 5, which is the final part of my now Fox Reacts and Jason. In Part 5, which is the final part, will be the last 9 minutes and 1 seconds of the video for the Foxy Reacts. Now anyways, before we get started, just want to say, don't attack Jason, I'm just want thing, because this video was only meant for anything, purpose only, and constructive as purpose only. Anyways, let's get started. Because this video was only meant for anything, purpose only, and constructive as purpose only. Anyways, let's get started. Because, before the opportunity actually is in your life, you just probably want, you just probably want to use the opposite. So he wants to be identified as something that he's not? That doesn't make sense. Wouldn't he want to represent himself as who he really is? Why would his avatar be something that he's not? Well, looks like you have nothing to back up your claim. So this means I have won the argument. The continued silence you're giving me further affirms that I won the argument. If you have no further points to make, I can only assume that you have nothing else to say. Well, I've been never... I've been never that you should want to communicate to this one time explaining why his avatar is white. And he's actually black in your life. Well, I will have you know that Brad Moment confessed that he's white in real life. <laughs> Here's proof supporting my claim. Yeah, yeah, I've actually heard about that. Well, I was assuming that you have not. Sorry about that. No, no, that was my mom telling me something. But anyways, let's continue. I mean, sorry about that. That was my mo that was my mom telling me something. But anyways, let's con let's continue. I'm <laughs> 
hear how everyone talks about you behind your back. They all secretly think you're a huge embarrassment and a complete waste of space. They laugh at you every time you try to talk and make fun of how dumb you sound. It's honestly shocking that you have any friends at all. They must be just as pathetic as you. No. Do you not recognize how utterly stupid you sound to the rest of us? It seems like you think you're saying something interesting and intelligent, when in fact, everyone thinks you're just a loudmouth who doesn't shut up. People are always looking for excuses to escape being around you. They don't like being around someone who can't hold a decent conversation and constantly makes a fool out of herself. Never cease to amaze everyone with your poor speech skills and awful pronunciations. Even the teacher must have wanted to bash your head against the wall at the time you opened your mouth. No. If you keep repeating, no. like an insufferable buffoon, my brain will soon explode into a million pieces. I can only handle so much idiocy in one day, so please stop trying to kill me. Also, did your speech teacher give you passing grades out of pity? Because there's no way you deserved to pass that class. Your speech was the most atrocious thing I've ever heard, and your pronunciations were downright abysmal. You should truly be ashamed of your lack of verbal skills and your inability to communicate. The world would be a better place if you were mute. What? What? Did you didn't did pass, did pass me out of pity because it, oh, they actually, they actually passed fail and square. Well, I can't tell if your speech teacher is more unintelligent or blind. I mean, even a three-year-old would be able to identify the mistakes you have made in your speech. Plus, I wonder how much he was paid to give you passing grades. He must be a corrupt individual to be able to look past all the grammatical errors and still hand out passing grades. Also, if it was fair, then why did all the other students look at you with a face of disgust after you spoke? They could feel their brains deteriorate with every word that came out of your mouth. Your speaking skills put people to sleep faster than sleeping pills and a glass of warm milk combined. They just wish you would stop speaking altogether, because they're tired of you making a total fool of yourself. I recommend that you go back and enroll in the course, because you clearly need it. I'm not crying, dude. Then why do I hear you sniffling? My nose, my nose is a little bit stuffy. My nose is a little bit stuffy. Stuffy, I mean. Yes, commentary. Um, not to me was actually yeah, it's not commentary. So you claim repeatedly. If only you were capable of learning some new words and phrases in addition to that tired statement. Well, I always thought saying that sentence. I'm never gonna. I'm so bored to try to pick out something else to say. Well, not saying anything off of that. Well, for that. I'm gonna try to think. I'm gonna really try to figure out something else to say for that. Yeah, but your limited vocabulary seems to be quite a hindrance to conversation. Perhaps you could try reading some poetry or listening to a podcast to get some new phrases and words into your record war. It might help you in the future if you ever have to communicate with another human being. You never know, you might even end up making some friends. You must be such a bore at parties. I bet people avoid you like the plague because of your limited conversational skills. No, they don't avoid me, dude. People actually enjoy talking to me. Sure, in your dreams. They actually do. I really doubt that. People are just being nice to you out of courtesy. They can sense that you're not the brightest bulb in the chandelier, and they're trying to take pity on you by humoring your silly statements. Nobody genuinely likes talking to you, because you don't offer anything of value to an engaging and stimulating conversation. The fact that you believe people enjoy talking to you only proves that you're disconnected from reality. 
you need to wake up and smell the roses instead of continuing to live in your own delusional world where people supposedly like being in your company. They are just being polite, but deep down I'm sure they find your limited vocabulary and repetitive responses to be quite tiresome. I recommend that you find some new material to keep the conversation interesting. No one likes talking to a broken record. Do you, do you, do you not actually... Do you not to be polite? Do you actually do enjoy talking to me? Are you sure they actually enjoy talking to you or are they just tolerating you for the sake of social conventions? Because I can't imagine anyone would be interested in engaging in a conversation with a dull and repetitive person like yourself. But I suppose some people can find a way to enjoy the silliest of things. Have you tried reading a dictionary or thesaurus? It might help you finally make a point without repeating the same line over and over again. Well, I'm going to not say that line anymore. Because in fact, I'm getting tired of saying that line over and over again. Thank God. If I had to read that same phrase one more time, I think I'd lose my mind. You really need to broaden your vocabulary and learn how to express yourself in a more meaningful way. Commentary was awful and repetitive at the same time. In some parts, Foxy the Fox 110 kept her mouth shut, which shows she has nothing to back up her arguments. Like, come on. I am sure people know better than that. But, anyways, guys, see you later. Now, anyways, that's the end of the. I mean, that's the end of part five, which is the final part of the Fox Reacts. And I hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Foxy Fox, I mean, the WWL fan, and he's gonna cut off my voice at the end, so I'm gonna redo it here. And anyways, that's the end of part 5, which is the final part, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, I mean, the WWL fan, out. Well guys, thanks for watching this commentary. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts down below in the comments. Either way, this is Jason the YouTube Guy 2K5, signing off. See you later.